cell reactions to the Kevin Spacey allegations. In a bombshell interview with BuzzFeed, Star Trek, Discovery actor Anthony Rapp accused renowned actor Kevin Spacey of trying to have sex with him in 1986 when Rapp was just 14. Spacey was 26 at the time and allegedly intoxicated from a party at his apartment that Rupp was attending. In response to the allegations, Spacey posted a statement on Twitter that raised more than a few eyebrows. While Spacey apologized to Rupp for what would have been deeply inappropriate drunken behavior, the veteran actor also claimed that he has no memory of the encounter and then closed his statement by officially coming out as a gay man. In light of the allegations, Netflix suspended production indefinitely on the final season of House of Cards, and Hollywood was quick to react to Spacey's apparent attempt to defuse the situation. Zachary Quinto Star Trek 2009 star Zachary Quinto, who came out as a gay man in 2011 in an effort to help prevent suicides in the gay community, was one of the first Hollywood actors to criticize Spacey's response to Rep's allegations. It is deeply sad and troubling that this is how Kevin Spacey has chosen to come out, Quinto tweeted. Not by standing up as a point of pride in the light of all his many awards and accomplishments thus inspiring tens of thousands of struggling LGBTQ kids around the world. But as a calculated manipulation to deflect attention from the very serious accusation that he attempted to molest one. I am sorry to hear of Anthony Rep's experience and subsequent suffering. And I am sorry that Kevin only saw fit to acknowledge his truth when he thought it would serve him just as his denial served him for so many years. Lance Bass Former Asterisk Sync member Lance Bass, who received the Human Rights Campaign Visibility Award after coming out as a gay man in 2006, was less than thrilled with Spacey's statement, which he viewed as doing more harm than good to the gay community. Being gay should never be equated with sexual assault or pedophilia, Bass tweeted. Thanks for giving the homophobes more ammo sharp, Kevin Spacey. Clay Egan After rising to fame by placing second to Ruben Studdard on the second season of American Idol, singer Clay Egan came out as gay in 2008 in an interview with People, confirming that he had a son via surrogate. Since then, Aiken has been a vocal supporter for gay rights, so he was quick to join the growing list of LGBTQ celebrities that criticized Spacey's controversial statement. Hey, Kevin Spacey, you can choose to act like a pervert. You can't choose it to be gay, Aiken tweeted, along with raised eyebrow and forehead slapping emoji for added a um -huh. Billy Eichner Billy on the Street and Difficult People star Billy Eichner has become another vocal Spacey critic who has had a field day tweeting and retweeting Spacey criticism. Kevin Spacey has just invented something that has never existed before, Eichner wrote, a bad time to come out. George Takey since coming out as gay in 2005, George Takei, best known as Mr. Salu on the original Star Trek television series, has become a gay icon and beloved social media presence thanks to his calls for social justice. When Spacey released his infamous response to Rep's allegations, Takei issued a statement of his own the very next morning. Takey also included a not so veiled reference to disgraced Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein. When power is used in a non-consensual situation, it is a wrong, Taker told the Hollywood Reporter. For Anthony Rupp, he has had to live with the memory of this experience of decades ago. For Kevin Spacey, who claims not to remember the incident, he was the older, dominant one who had his way. Men who improperly harass or assault do not do so because they are gay or straight that is a deflection. They do so because they have the power and they chose to abuse it. Bo Willimon House of Cards creator Bo Willimon waded into the controversy surrounding Spacey and the future of the suspended Netflix hit series. Anthony Rep's story is deeply troubling, Willimon tweeted. 
During the time I worked with Kevin Spacey on House of Cards I neither witnessed nor was aware of any inappropriate behavior on set or off. That said, I take reports of such behavior seriously and this is no exception. I feel for Mr. Rep and I support his courage. Rose McGowan after the Weinstein scandal broke, actress Rose McGowan, who accused Weinstein of raping her early in her career, has become a fierce advocate for sexual assault and harassment victims. Her Twitter account has been a non-stop barrage against Hollywood's power structure, so when the news about Spacey broke, McGowan called on the media to stay focused on the real story. Dear fellow media, keep focus on sharp and hone Europe, McGowan tweeted. Be the victim's voice. Help us level the playing field. Jordan Gavaris. Not long before the spacey allegations broke, orphan black star Jordan Gavaris had came forward with allegations against a pop agent Tyler Grasham, who was already under fire for allegedly sexually assaulting minors, according to Vulture. When Rip came forward a week later, Gavaris wasn't having Spacey's alleged attempt to defuse the situation. Sexual assault is not about sexuality, a fired up, Gavaris tweeted. Sexual assault is about power. Say IT with me, please. Sharp, Kevin Spacey. Wanda Sykes. Within a few short hours of Spacey tweeting his response to the rap allegations, out and proud comedian Wanda Sykes bounced on the questionable statement. No, 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 no. Sykes tweeted. You do not get to choose it to hide under the rainbow. Kick rocks. Dan Savage. Famed political writer and LGBTQ activist Dan Savage immediately went to work defending Rip by taking Spacey to task for his controversial response. Nope to Kevin Spacey's statement, Savage tweeted. Nope. There's no amount of drunk or closeted that excuses or explains away assaulting a 14-year-old child.